Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of the almighty so today i am here on ravi ban jafri speak and today i am here for class for english version students so dear students today our subject is elementary mathematics and today i am going to show you some word problems from page 43 to 47 so let's start so dear students our first word problem from page 43 here is the question You have one hundred notes of one hundred taka notes. How much money do you have? So here, one hundred taka notes is equal to taka hundred or one hundred taka, and one hundred hundred taka notes is equal to taka one hundred into one hundred. That is ten thousand taka. So I have ten thousand taka. Now, dear students, let's go to our second word problem. So, dear students, it's a second word problem from again from page forty-three. There are thirty-seven boxes which contain five hundred tickets of a cricket match. How many tickets are there in the boxes? So, dear students, we can see here that in each box there are five hundred tickets and there are thirty-seven boxes. So, this is multiplication. In one box there are five hundred tickets. So in three thirty-seven boxes, there are five hundred into thirty-seven tickets. That is in total eighteen thousand five hundred tickets. So there are eighteen thousand five hundred tickets for the cricket match in thirty-seven boxes. So dear students, this is our second word problem. Now next, let's go through our third word problem. So this is again from page forty-three. And let's see the question at first. Rohima earns taka 125 daily by sewing. How much money does she earn in 25 days? So, dear students, here we can see that in one day Rohima earns 125 taka. So, we have to find the amount of money she earns in 25 days. So, we have to multiply 125 by 25. So, Rohima earns in one day taka 125. So in 25 days, that is multiplication 125 into 25 is equal to taka 3125. So in 25 days, Rohima will earn 3125 taka. Now our fourth question. Selim sold 185 hens from his poultry farm. He got taka 275 for each hen. How much money did he get in total? So here we can see that for one hen he got 275 taka. So there are 185 hens and we have to multiply 185 by 275. Then we will get the total amount of money. So Selim sold one hen for taka 275. So Selim sold 185 hens for taka 275 into 185. That is. Taka fifty thousand eight hundred seventy-five. So Selim sold eight hundred one hundred eighty-five hens from his poultry farm for taka fifty thousand eight hundred seventy-five. So dear students, this is our fourth word problem. Now let's go through our fifth word problem. So dear students, this is also from page forty-three. Uh, here we can see the question: seventy-eight pieces of papers is needed to make an exercise book. If you make 955 exercise books, how many pieces of paper will you need? 70. So here we can now let's see the solution. Number five given. One exercise book requires 78 pieces of paper. So 955 exercise books require 78 78 into 955 because we we have to find the total amount of pieces of paper we need. So if we multiply, then we get seventy-four thousand four hundred ninety pieces of paper. So that is seventy-four thousand four hundred ninety pieces of paper is required to make nine hundred fifty-five exercise books. So dear students, this is our fifth word problem, and we are now in the halfway of our today's video. Now sixth word problem. Now we are going to page fifty-seven. There are ninety-nine children. You are making team of eleven to play football games. How many teams can you make? Now, dear students, the 
still now we are doing multiplication word problems now we will be doing some new type of word problems related to division so here we can see there are 99 children and we have to find the number of teams so we have to divide 99 by 11 so given 11 children can play in one team so 99 children can play in 99 divided by 11 teams that is 9 teams because 9 into 1 9 9 into 1 9 that is 99 that is 9 teams so 99 children can play in 11 teams now dear students let's go to our next word problem this is again from page 57 you want to divide 182 postcards equally among 26 people how many postcards should you give each person so let's see the answer number 7 given 26 people will get 182 postcards so each person will get 182 divided by 26 postcards that is 7 postcards so each person will get 7 postcards now dear students let's go to our 8 word problem number 8 given there are 500 pencils we are putting 12 of them in each box how many boxes do we need and how many pencils remain so we have to find a number of boxes we have to divide 500 by 12 so there will be 500 pencils so we need 500 divided by 12 boxes that is 41 boxes with 8 pencils remaining so there are 8 pencils with re is remaining so we need 141 boxes for the pencils with 8 pencils remaining now dear students let's go to our ninth word problem a wire of length 1716 meters is divided into 78 equal parts what is the length of each part so dear students we have to divide 1716 by 78 so here the length of the wire is 1716 meters the wire is divided into 78 equal parts so the length of each part is 1716 divided by 78 that is 22 meters so the length of each part of the wire is 22 meters now to on page 57 price uh, price of the rice of 85 kg is taka 2295 what is the price of 1 kg rice so there students we can see here the, the price of 85 kg rice is given now we have to find out the price of a 1 kg rice so the price of 85 kg rice is taka 2295 and the price of 1 kg rice is taka 2295 divided by 85 that is taka 27 so the price of 1 kg rice is taka 27 and the question you have 2784 beads and you are going to make some garland with 98 of them how many garlands can you make with them so we can see that the 2000 there are two, two, sorry 2784 beads and we have to find the number of garlands we can make taking each taking 98 for each garland so accordingly there are 2784 beads and for each garland i need 98 so i can make 28 garlands and 40 beads will be remaining so i will be able to make 28 garlands with 40 beads remaining so that's all for today hope you have liked the video if you like the video then don't forget to like comment and also don't forget to share and for new videos must subscribe our channel so that's all for today assalamu alaikum